What's going on guys? Hope y'all are having a good day. I'm here in the garage and looking around. There's a lot of clutter. I need to get it out of here. I need to put it into piles, either sell it, keep it, throw it in a trash pile somewhere. I need to clean up my workstation and figured why not bring you guys along with me. So that's what we're going to tackle in this video. Uh, we're also going to be adding a few things, some organization tips uh, towards the end. So stay tuned for that and we'll get right into it. All right, so I thought I'd start with a little walkthrough. This is not to boast at all. This is just to show you how much stuff I have to clean up. So this is kind of a back section area. Uh, the sun actually goes down on the west side here. Uh, I've got a nice kiln. It's a little bit small, but I heat up some, some rock here, some raw coastal, uh, random little scale, some boxes, and just some other random stuff back through here. Some biphases here on the floor. I uh, still use this old uh, turkey roaster from time to time. And then we look up and we see this craziness here. So we got random biphases here, some coastal Flint River, got some larger uh, Flint River, some larger coastal, some more Flint River here, Singer sewing machines, tile saw, you name it, we got it back here. We've got a ton of just debitage that we need to clean out. On top of that, we've got a rug and a ton of boxes from some pearl yoder coral. We got you fan over here. I did sweep an area where I could walk, so you gotta give me credit there. I uh, got a nice little frame here. By the way, all of these points uh, are for sale, so if you're interested, uh, shoot me a message. This one is broke. You'd never be able to tell. But uh, just a small little seam. I think it cut across there. You, you can't really tell. And then this one is too, because I dropped it. But the other ones are intact and are for sale. And I've just got, got too much around here. So this is my walk through Tallahatta, Flint River, Coastal, uh, just Jasper, all sorts of stuff. Again, got boxes. This is all the coral I've been buying recently. Again, not to boast or anything. Uh, got some Coastal preforms here and that's where I've been filming my videos so you get over here to this section I've got a ton of coral flakes and I've just got tools spread everywhere belt sander I've got bifaces galore and I bought a fan recently that's gonna help but I need to clean up this area desperately so that's what we're gonna do all right, so step one is gonna be getting rid of these boxes and opening up this garage here so we can have a little bit of light. Now we can see a little better. I may keep it. I'm gonna try to uh, sweep it off, then vacuum it, and try to make it nice. And if it won't work, I'll throw it out. But may keep it for whenever we clear all this out. Now, from here, we have a bed of debitage flakes that I know there's a lot of good stuff in it. So we need to clear through a lot of this and make sure that we can, from that point, uh, weed out any stuff that we want to keep and then throw away anything that we don't so that's going to be my next project
quick update before I continue on to this pile over here. So I pretty much said I'll just have a keep, not keep pile, but I decided to go ahead and portion them up. So as I'm sitting here and raking them up with a flathead shovel, I've got some very small, very small heated flakes of coral and coastal and whatever. Over here, we have just raw spalls of coastal and coral and other stuff. And then I got some stuff I want to keep. It was like a cool preform I wanted to keep. And then like a couple big ones and some other. How crazy is that? I guess this was an old paleo or something I was working on. Simpson or Clovis, looks like it was a Clovis. I guess I didn't realize how wide my base was there. But it was at this point I was starting to learn percussion. So I guess I did work some Texas stuff. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to start working on this portion here. So we've come a long ways. In fact, let me back up and kind of give you a, well, it doesn't look like we did much, but we, we did a little bit. So that's what we're going to work on now and see how far we can go. I think I'm done for the day.
So this is day three and I'm pretty exhausted, but I got a lot of it done. I think the total time I've spent on everything is about five, five and a half hours, something like that. But we've got a nice clean space. We've opened it up quite a bit and I've got a big pile over here that I'm excited to share with you. Give you a sneak peek. Uh, not this small pile, but the big pile back there, uh, all that's going to be for sale for really cheap. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. But uh, as for now, I'm going to call it, and this is technically day three. It's been like a week of me filming this. Uh, but day four tomorrow, and hopefully we can get a lot of this stuff over in this corner uh, cleaned up. So that's the goal. Appreciate it. Well guys, I've definitely made some progress. So the last clip you saw, I was cleaning out this area here. And as we move back, I've got this table pretty much cleaned off other than a box I need to ship to my buddy Colton. And it's got some goodies in there for him. And uh, I moved a lot of my bigger rocks that I know I need to process over in this area. So I still got that to clean up. But uh, over in this corner, I got my coastal and coral flakes, my white coral spalls, my colorful coral spalls, my coral preforms, got some tools here. And then uh, <laughs> I've got a long way to go, obviously. Now we've got a bucket of stuff here I'm going to mention here in a second about. Some Jasper, Flint River, and coastal hiding back there, some preforms, a uh, whole bunch of preforms up there, um, and just a myriad of different things. But most importantly of all, I've got this whole area cleared out where I can walk. Uh, so I'm thankful for that. But uh, this pile over here, and we're going to end the video here. Um, this pile right here. Let me bring this light over here. Whoops, it broke on me. Just shimmy it over for a second here. This whole pile, see how large it is, I'm going to be selling. It's all stuff that's a bit too small for me or stuff that I didn't feel like I wanted to work per se. So there's Coral, Flint River, Coastal, uh, all sorts of stuff. Just stuff that... Um, a little bit too small for me but there's a lot of good stuff here the humongous pile I'm gonna have to do like large flat rate boxes because it is quite a bit but um, I'm thinking about doing large flat rate like uh, how much does a flat rate cost these days 20 23 bucks 22 23 bucks I don't know I can fill a large flat rate of all this and sell it for like 60, 65, how about, how about 65? I feel like that's a deal. A lot of these are spalls. Most of it's unheated unless it's coral. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, 65 bucks for a large flat rate and you'll be able to absolutely load up. Uh, this pile of stuff I've kept. Now this is the stuff I've sorted out from this entire area here where Pete's at right here. And yes, there, that's my doggy there, old Pete. I guess he's checking out to see if there's any monsters out there. And yeah, I got rock out there, but who doesn't? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have that for sale. Uh, then some of the rock over here on the left side is just coastal I need to heat up. I'll probably sell some of that, maybe in its raw state too. But uh, if you're interested in this, let me know. But uh, here, let me flip the camera around. There we go. 
like a ghost. Um, but I appreciate y'all joining me on the journey. It's been quite a lot to try to get all of this out of there, but I've accumulated a pretty good pile. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. And my dog has helped me here along the way. This has been a week and a half long process just to do this. I think in total, maybe six hours or so. Uh, so it's not like I spent all day, every day doing it. But um, anyways, it has taken a while. So appreciate y'all putting up with me. I know I haven't gotten any other videos out, but I should be making some points in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. And if, as always, if you want me to make you a point, let me know and I'll make you a point. Uh, we'll come up with a price and material and whatever. So uh, that'll wrap it up. This is part one of me cleaning up my garage. And uh, I think I told you, but all my tools, ooh, I don't know if I can show you. All my tools currently are under this desk here. So that's where they're at for the time being. I'm gonna have to get them out here in a bit. But uh, I'm gonna sign off there. Appreciate y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it inspires you to clean your garage. And uh, yeah, part two coming up. Probably take another month, but I'll have a part two eventually. Y'all take care.